Hi Leyva, welcome to my channel. We're gonna watch today Eurovision Dutch contestant Jos Klien disqualified from final. What is this news? This is real? Wow. This is real or not, I didn't know, but let's watch the news actually. Wow. The Eurovision Song Contest slogan is United by Music. On the eve of the grand final in Malmo, it feels okay. anything but. A week of controversy and protest is ending with crisis meetings and the mysterious suspension of one of the acts. Israel's participation as the war in Gaza rages has guaranteed politics has dominated an event which strives to be apolitical. Even Rishi Sunak got involved. Downing Street today saying he felt the anti-Israel demonstrations were wrong. There will certainly be more protests tomorrow when Eden Golan takes part in the final. The question is whether the Dutch act will be there too. Eust Klein was banned from tonight's dress rehearsal as an investigation into an unknown incident takes place. And amidst all of this, the odds on Israel actually winning the contest have been slashed. Whatever next, all bets are off. Wow. His song this is the real, huh? Is wow. All about no borders, but the Eurovision bosses clearly wow. have their limits as they banned Just Klein from tonight's mm. show due to an incident they are investigating. Instead, mm. this recording of Klein's performance from last night's semi-final was shown. Amid reports of crisis meetings amongst the organizers, Klein wasn't even allowed to rehearse on stage after he took part in the flag parade today. It's another unexpected controversy in an event that had been preparing for any trouble to come from opposition to Israel's inclusion. Wow. This is fine, Russia. filmed inside the arena tonight as Israeli Aidan Golan took to the stage. Tensions were already showing. At last night's post-show news conference, when Golan was asked questions, the Greek contestant looked less than impressed. Likewise, Dutch singer Joost Klein, seated next to the Israeli delegation, had his head completely covered. And then came this question from a journalist. Have you ever thought that by being here, you bring risk and danger for other participants and public? You don't have to answer that question if you want, don't want to. Why not? Why not, Klein is heard to ask. The EBU is taking all safety precautions uh, to make this a safe and uh, a united place for everyone. It has turned into an extraordinary year for Eurovision. Wow, what's going on? Ed and Golan's social media showed her practicing whilst her team booed at her to prepare her for the stage. This morning, the internationally acclaimed team who designed the stage and the lighting told me they hope everyone's work is recognized. It's a, such a challenge to get this to work with the scheduling and the timing and like everyone in the team, they really need to bring their A game. Does it annoy you a little bit that the headlines are dominated by what's going on outside the arena? It's a shame that this is overshadowed by this a little bit. Um, so the show doesn't deserve it. You know. The show must go on. Exactly. In yet another controversial moment, the mm. Italian state broadcaster Rai has apologized after accidentally revealing the exact percentages of their national vote yesterday. It showed nearly 40% of Italian voters went for Israel. And Nina joins us from yeah. Malmo now. Nina, this is turning into quite the contest, really, isn't it? Both uh, in politics and on stage. What, what's really going on tonight? I mean, so many rumours. Wait, you know, Tom, there's so much still about this that is unpredictable. Look at that Italian vote. Look at how Ed and Golan has suddenly become amongst the favourites. As regards Just Klein, well, he was supposed to be on that stage tonight. We were supposed to be watching him on that stage tonight. Instead, someone came out and said, he, he's not allowed to come out here. We're going to play a recording. It did not go down very well with the audience at all. 
As to what the incident is, well, the EBU is not really telling us. It's obviously quite serious. He's been told he can't perform in any of the rehearsals. Will he be around tomorrow? We actually don't know. Tonight was the jury voting, and the jury supplies 50% of the final vote. So it's extremely important that they're on that stage doing their best. Instead, the Netherlands contestants had a video played of him. So we don't know what's happened. There's all sorts of unconfirmed reports about some sort of incident backstage involving a member of the production crew but nothing's confirmed we really really don't know and to add to all the confusion there was supposed to be a news conference today involving the big five the countries that automatically go through it's normal it was going to be at 6 30 it was cancelled also because they said they needed to do some rehearsals tomorrow there's a massive pro-palestinian march sweden's won this thing seven times they know how to deal with things but my goodness this country has been tested this year Oh, bro, this is new, by the way, new okay, news. Uh, that was the last one yesterday, but this is today. Breaking news from Malmo, where our man Charlie Peters is. Can you believe it? We had that situation with the Dutch uh, entrant who was in a bit of trouble for some incident backstage. Apparently, breaking now, he will not be performing tonight. Charlie Peters, what's the latest? Hi there, Ben. Well, Eurovision has kicked out Just Klein, the Dutch contestant from tonight's final, following an alleged incident between a female production wow. member earlier this week. And they've issued a brief statement to say that they want to make it clear, contrary to some media reports and indeed some social media speculation, that this incident did not involve any other performer or delegation mm -hmm. member. I think they're referring to the Israeli contestant Eden Golan because during a press conference on Thursday night after their semi-final, Just Klein was seen with the Dutch flag draped over his head while she asked, answered questions. He also interjected when a Polish radio journalist asked her a question. The moderator said she didn't need to answer it, but Just Klein said, why not, loudly wow. interjecting there. He had been suspended soon after, but the EBU, the European Broadcasting Union, at the time did not offer an explanation as to what occurred and why they had gone through with that suspension. He didn't rehearse yesterday. He will not compete tonight. Eurovision is down to 25 finalists. Thank you very much, Charlie. Ellie, so what do we make of this? What impact okay. is that going to have on the contest this evening? This is huge news because Juice Klein it was actually, you know, Bucky's odds to be in the top five. He was going to do really well. Euro Papa, or as he sings it, Euro Papa, was a banger. I'm not going to lie. Like, it was, <laughs> and it went off really well. In what does it mean? Um, I feel um, sad. the daddy of Europe, essentially. It was the like, daddy of yeah, Europe. the daddy, That's like, so you know, Eurovision. but it's so Eurovision. He went down a storm with um, reporters backstage who were over there, delegations. Um, so this is huge. And obviously, we've been waiting to find out what's been going on because the final is tonight. Yeah. And so to have him act at the last minute is crazy. But it is right that they've done their due diligence and, you know, investigated this properly. But um, like our reporter said out there, there was so much rumor going on that it had to do with Israel because obviously the big thing at the moment about Eurovision is why are Israel there? Why are they involved? And a lot of people thought, has this incident come off the back of that? Apparently not. And I think more will come of this specific incident. I'm, I'm certain we'll get to the bottom of it. It's all a bit mysterious exactly for the moment, isn't it? Yeah, well, appa absolutely. Apparently the, the reports are from uh, Reuters and um, elsewhere that the Dutch entrant was accused of being intimidating to a female staff member backstage. Mm. Who knows? Just allegations. Um, but what a mess. <sighs> what a complete mess. You've got the, this incident with the Dutch guy. Yep. He's out yep. on his backside. You had the incident with uh, the is Israeli contestant. Yeah. You've got the protests. There's a lot That's of sad. Yeah. Also, by the way, sorry to interject, sorry. Ellie. It, I feel bad. Rolled, particularly. <laughs> Ollie Alexander saying that the Union Jack flag is somehow offensive, or what, what did he say? Oh, I missed that. Completely. Divisive. Divisive. Yeah, I let Eurovision. Then you have the Irish right. entry, Bambi Thug with her like, satanic and. I'm not going to lie. The uh, Netherlands act that I was talking about in that report. There's been no official update from either the organisers or the police, but police have confirmed to media that they have been investigating reports of alleged threats to a Eurovision employee. Now, these alleged threats are, are, are said to have happened on Thursday, and they have questioned mm. a man in connection with this. Now, Swedish media are saying that is Joost Klein. We haven't had any official confirmation of that. I spoke to police. They said they couldn't confirm the name or the age of the person who... This is not official, right? I guess. Uh, 
But he, he didn't out the rational video, I guess. He saw it. He's doing like this. He was due to perform in the semi uh, in the final rehearsals, which the juries vote on. And actually, he didn't, and they played his semi final rehearsal. So it's another load of controversy swirling around this year's Eurovision. As you heard in the report, there's been a huge amount of controversy as well about the fact that Israel has been allowed to continue uh, to compete. We're expecting more protests today, but if you have a look here, you can see the queue that's building up. This is actually for people waiting to get into the final dress rehearsal today. The glitter. The sequins, they are all out in force. So it seems that even though there is still a huge amount of drama on the dance floor, it's not putting the fans off. Anyway, guys, if you guys want more about Eurovision or just clean, please comment down below and take care of yourself, guys, and bye bye.